G'day guys, welcome back again. Doing something a little bit different for you today. I thought maybe you were getting a bit sick of my flip cut paws and I thought I uh, will just try something different. I did this little guy yesterday, last night. It's just on my thick card that I use, the 30 by centimeter, 12 by 16 inch card. And I didn't video it, I was just testing colors and see what could happen because this is the first one I've ever done. So I thought, well, no point showing you guys how to do something if I've never done it before and I have no idea if it's gonna work. So I did a bit of a practice and put it up and you guys seem to like it. So I thought, well, I'll have another go at doing a bigger one. This is a 40 by 80 centimeter, which is a 16 by 32 inch. So it's a pretty big one, considering I haven't, you know, this is my first one, but I thought I'm just gonna jump straight in and see what I can do. And if it doesn't work, well, it's only paint. I'll scrape it. So it's kind of like, a wing paw, not a ring paw, a wing paw, um, but I didn't want the defined wings. I was after more movement and I really wanted this feathering. So I've chosen some blues and some copper because I kind of wanted it to look uh, watery, ocean, sort of like sea anemones or someone said it was the inside of Moby Dick's mouth. Kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Where the plankton sort of gets filtered in. But anyway, that's what I'm going to try and achieve today. So I'll move him out the way. Hopefully I can do it. Uh, now, my mix is the mix that I've been using for my flip cup pours. It's three cups Floetrol, two cups PVA glue and one cup of pouring medium. You can use Liquitex pouring medium, you can use Global, Vallejo, GAC 800, whatever you want to do. This one's global and I just put it in there and it's ready to go when I want it. So colours today, same as what I did on the other one, I've got black, copper, navy, pale blue and a, a mid blue. So just in global, that's the black. My metallic copper, navy, oh deep space, you can't even see that anymore, it's so old. Uh, this one's the light blue, it's called Marina, and this is a mid-blue, it's just bright blue and cobalt blue mixed together, so it's not, I didn't want it too close to the navy, so I just dulled it down a little bit with the cobalt. And I've got a little bit of black, I made an extra black, just in case I need to get to my corners, so I always like to have a little bit of black left over. Got my spatula or palette knife ready to go for my sides. Um, now my ratio of paint to medium is two to one. So two parts pouring medium to one part paint. So in each cup I have got 180 grams of pouring medium, 90 grams of paint. That's 270 grams all up times five colors is 1,350 grams of mixed paint. Now, I really don't know how much I'm going to need for this because I said I haven't done one before. So I'm just winging it, <laughs> winging it with a wing paw, so to speak. Um, when I did it last night, I started up here. I didn't do circles. I just poured while I tilted this up a little bit. So that's what I did. And I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to layer each color in probably two or three times, depending on how much paint I've got so I'm going to try for three so probably a third each time so I'm going to go black first actually that probably wasn't a third better go a little bit more black and then copper now I'm going to pour it down towards the spout here so I'm going to pour it that way and about a third of my copper I think that's about a third I'm not worried about the drips, it's going to be covered. And then a third of my navy. And then I'm going to go with the light blue because I don't want the two darker blues next to each other. So I'll go dark blue and then this light blue. So a third of that. And then a third of this bright blue. 
And then I'm going to start again with the blue, the um, the black again. I don't mind the black against the the mid blue. I don't know how much I'm going to have room for in this jug. This jug holds a litre, which is four cups. So I don't know if I'll have enough. Um, let's go the copper again. And then I think last night's one I changed up a bit and instead of doing the navy I did this one. So I'm going to do that again because I like that effect of the copper with the light blue. And then what did I do? I can't remember. Let's do this one. And then the navy again. It's getting full. Okay, and then some more black. That's all my black. I hope it's not too much. The thing with these sorts of pours, and I've done a lot of ring pours before, don't get me wrong, it's not like I've never done one of these before. I've done ring pours, multiple ring pours. If you check my videos you'll see I did a, a big square one that actually had nine ring pours on it. Um, to make your rings or lines open up and get that feathering you need to be able to stretch them so you can't have too much paint because then you've got nowhere to stretch unless you've tipped everything off. Um, where are we going to go next? Yes a bit of copper. So it's a fine line between how much paint you've, you've got. You need enough to be able to cover your surface, but not too much that you can't stretch it anymore because it's got nowhere to go. It's just too much paint on there. You want to be able to stretch it out. And I'll just finish it off with that, hey? That will be plenty. I can't fit any more in there. So that's over a litre of paint. And I've got a little bit of navy and a little bit of my mid blue left. So I'll just pop them over there. Okay. Oh, look, it's, it's flowing down my handle. Oh dear. Look at that. Flowing down my handle. Never mind. I'm going to wipe that off. Didn't realise I was overflowing there remember that for next time don't overflow your jug okay guys let's do this um actually you know what i want blue at the end i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to put a bit more there because i want blue in the middle okay here we go now i'm gonna lift this up a little bit and i'm just gonna pour in one spot and oh it's not pouring because it's too full that's the problem isn't it it's too full oh dear all right i've started i just have to keep going note to self don't have it too full I'm going to have to try and flip this jug so that it's pouring properly because it's running down the side of the jug. Oops, there we go. Now I've got it. Sort of making a mess. Learning the hard way here, guys. All right, let's go. Off we go again. Well, there you go. You've learned from my mistakes, hey? Don't overfill your jug. I guess what I should have maybe done is had two smaller jugs, and then once you've finished with one jug, you can just start again in the same spot. I think that would work. I 
do want to get down to the bottom of my canvas. I've lost quite a bit off the end here with my silly pouring at the beginning. But like I said, it's my first one, well, first big one. But I think next time, a, a two jugger, because you can stop and I'm sure you can stop and put another jug over the top of it. Pretty heavy. All right, that's it. I'm stopping there. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, now I wanted to just go over the edge that way. Look at all my wasted paint there. I'm gonna wash my hands. Look at this, I'm covered in paint. That was so messy, my goodness. Oh well, anyway, lesson learnt, hey guys? Lesson learnt. Let's go. So I wanted to go over the edge before I start tilting. Okay. So this, this is the feathering here I was talking about. And as I stretch from side to side, these should open up. That's the plan. And as I said, I've got some black here to pop on my corners, just in case. Because a circle here is gonna have trouble going over a square. So I'm not gonna do the bottom at the moment, I just wanna see it. I'm just worried that maybe the paint will actually stop on the black. I'm just going to make that a little bit thinner. I don't want the paint to grab on the black. I want it to flow over well. So sometimes if your black's made a bit of a ridge, the paint sort of can't get over it. But okay, let's see. See what happens if we can open this up a little bit. So as I said, I'm not going for wings. I want a little bit more movement in it. It's not really something that you can, I don't think you can bring the paint back up again. You just have to just go for it over the sides. I think you just have to go for it. But I have got a lot more paint down the bottom than I have at the top, I think. I'm just gonna pop a bit more black there. So just experimenting with this one. If it doesn't work, oh, that was silly. Um, if it doesn't work, then I'll, I'll do another one and try with the two jugs. All right, let's see if I can open this up. I just know that there's more paint there than there is up here. See how fast that's moving? And this one's not doing much. So I'm worried that that's not going to move over. I might have to move it up a bit actually because I don't have enough paint here. It's all gone down there. See this feathering happening? That's pretty isn't it? Okay so my weight of my paint's here now so I can go over. take too much of it and while I've got the weight of the paint here I'll come this way as well. It's harder on a big piece, isn't it? For sure, much harder. Let's get this over. And back. I think I've ruined it here. I think because I've brought the paint back up again, I probably shouldn't have done that. But let's 
continue and see what happens. I'll turn it around so that you can get a better view of what's happening. There's a lot of paint just here, so I need to move it down and towards you at the same time. Get that corner done down there. Bring it back a bit. So there's no right or wrong with these. It's just whatever you like. You've got a little bit more control over how you, you know, tilt and what sort of uh, design you're going to get overall. I'm just going to see. I've got a lamp just there. I'm just going to see if that's glaring on my paw. Yes, it is. I'm going to turn it off. Is that better? Oh, not really. Leave it on. Wow, I've got so much leftover paint. I probably had way too much paint, you know. As I said, I can't stretch it properly because there's so much on here. So I just need to get to this little corner down here. you can still see what's happening. Off it goes. Okay. All right. What do you think? A bit different to the other one, but it's, it's certainly got the movement that I wanted. It's very abstract. No cells, of course, because I didn't use any oil. I didn't want any cells. I'm just covering up that little line there, and I put some black on the side there in that corner that I missed. And I think this little edge here needs a bit of black. Can't see the other side, but I'll go over in a minute and have a look at that. This side is beautiful. Um, this one, I'm just going to put a bit of my blue there actually because it's got blue in that corner so I'm just going to add a bit there and match it in. Let's do that so it looks as if it belongs there. And what about my other corner? It can do with a little bit of black. Yeah, so way too much paint, way too much. Um, a little bit more black just up here and then I think it's done. I don't know whether I'll keep it or whether I'll, I'll scrape it and do it again. I'll put it up and you guys can tell me what you think. If no one likes it, I'll scrape it and do it again. But as I said, I, I just wanted that flowing look to it. You know, something a little bit different. Nothing too um, regimented and set and... I don't know, I can't explain it. I just want to have something a little bit more flowing. So I do like that and I do like this, the black there and then I've got a bit of black there and a bit of black there. Now I'm just going to torch it very lightly to pop any bubbles. We may get a few cells come up, which is, which is fine. I don't mind that. Add a little bit of interest. As long as we don't get too many. We're just popping the bubbles really. down a little bit this way just a touch to get this off and maybe open up this a little bit 
Let's see what happens. I'll tilt it a little bit. And if I don't like it, I'll stop. I just want to see if I can open up some of that feathering. As I said, it's the stretching that opens those feathers up. Is that good? Is that worse? <laughs> Wish you could answer me. All right, that'll do. I want to keep my little bit of black there. I like that. Let's take it back again. Just a touch. I think it's opened this up a little bit here. Still not that keen on this, but as I said in my previous videos, there's always going to be a section, well, I think there's always going to be a section that you just don't love. But this section here kind of matches this little bit here. So we can't be over critical of our work, can we? We try not to. So I actually quite like it. It's growing on me. I can see ribbons of different colours through here. The black and the copper is, is more dominant, which is what I wanted. Um, I'll show you the little guy. He's got a lot more, he's got a lot more of the pale blue. See that up here? There's a lot more of the pale blue. I kind of lost that, which I really liked. I like that pale blue. But I think because I've had too much paint on the canvas and I've sort of over overstretched, I think it's got lost. I think that's maybe what's happened. So I will do another one. And at least I've got a matching pair. I won't scrape it, I'll keep it, and I'll do another one in the same colours, and then, I'll, as I said, I'll have a matching pair. And they'll just be similar but different. So watch this space. I'm going to take you in for a close-up and see what you think. But I actually quite like it. Round we go. Oh, there's that lamp. All right, I need to turn that lamp off. I'm going to go around here and just turn it off. I just found that my garage was, I felt it was a little bit dark this morning. My studio, my garage. All right, let's start up here, show you guys. Got all that paint on the side, hey? What a waste. What a waste. So, liking this feathering. It's not as good as the feathering from last night. Too much paint. I haven't been able to stretch it. This bits, these bits here, because I had so much paint, I wasn't able to stretch them out. So I think maybe well, I had 1,350. I didn't use it all. Maybe I'll make up 800 grams next time and see if that's any better. it there. These stripes they look like layers of rock don't they? And that's that middle bit there that I haven't been able to stretch out. If I'd been able to stretch them out more you would have seen more of that light blue pop through. But overall pretty happy with it and I will make up another one, make up some more paint shortly and see the next one. Okay, bye for now.